Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of Smurf International Ministry, where I read seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Wednesday, September the 7th, 2022, Leviticus, the 19th chapter, resuming our read on the third, 13th verses. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads... Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear of thy God, for I am the Lord. Ye shall, not, ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, for thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shall thou judge thy neighbor. Did it just say we spoke to judge? I think it did. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer, running your mouth among thy people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor, for I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Don't even let your cattle sleep with uh, something that ain't, it ain't supposed to be sleeping with adverse kind. Thou shalt not let let Thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. And neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. And whosoever lieth carnally with a woman that is a bondmaid, betrothed to a husband, and not at all redeemed nor freedom given her, she shall be scourged. They shall not be put to death because she was not free. So they're going to scourge her. Show us cold. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord, unto the door of the tabernacle, and the congregation, even a ram for a trespass offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering before the Lord for his sin which he hath done. And the sin which he hath done shall be forgiven him. And when ye shall come into the land and shall have planted all manner of trees for food, then ye shall count the fruit thereof as uncircumcised. Three years shall it be to, as uncircumcised unto you. It shall not be eaten of. But in the fourth year, all the fruit thereof shall be holy to praise the Lord with. And in the fifth year shall ye eat of the fruit thereof, that it may yield unto you the increase thereof. For I am the Lord your God. Now ye shall not eat anything with blood. Because life's in the blood. Don't eat nothing with blood. Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Nor print any marks upon you. That's verse 28, chapter, 13, chapter 19, verse 28. Say no tattoos, for I am the Lord. Do not prostitute thy daughter, the Kardashians and Beyonce and them, to cause her to be a whore. At least the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. For I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head, as gray-haired folks like me, and honor the face of the old man, and fear the Lord thy God, for I am the Lord. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him, but the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you. And thou shalt love him as thyself, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in meat yard, in weight, or in measure. 
just balances, just weights, a just ephog, and a just hen shall ye have. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, for I am the Lord. Chapter 20 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers of Israel, that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed, that's his children, unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he's given of his seed unto Moloch, to defile my sanctuary, and to defame my holy name. And if the people of the land do anyways hide their eyes from the man, when he giveth of his seed unto Moloch, and kill him not, you see somebody burning a child, kill that person. Okay, we don't do it today now, but that's what he said back then. Then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and will cut him off, and all that go whoring after him to commit whoredom with Moloch from among their people. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirit, and after wizards to go a-whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will get, cut him off from among his people. So sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes, and do them. I am the Lord, which sanctifieth you. For every one that curses his father, or his mother, shall be surely put to death. He that curses his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the idolater and the idolatress shall surely be put to death. And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. And their blood shall be upon them. May the Lord add a blessing to me, the reader, and you, the hearer of this precious and sacred word of God. Again, I am Mama Pam of Smurf Family International Ministry. Smurf stands for 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Folk. And we do broadcast live Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 Central Standard Time, across nine social media platforms. All right. <laughs>